beautiful buddies and welcome back to Rebuilding Strange Town. Today we are here with the Beakers Home and if you guys haven't seen them, I will link them up in the corner. Um, but basically the Beakers are a family from The Sims 2 and they have this really, really interesting house because it is very, very much lab-like. They are scientists and who they are experimenting on is this person called Nervous Subject. Um, and Nervous Subject is a sim who uh, was, uh, he, he was born from Olive Spectre, so Olive Spectre is his mother, but the interesting thing about him is that he is the Grim Reaper's son, which is why I guess he's being experimented on and why the Beakers find him interesting and there has been rumored or it has been rumored that all the specter sold him to the uh, um, beakers to experiment on him so basically she sold out her son to get what she wanted and i think that's so sad guys that is so sad but it's just a theory i guess like that some people tell me like oh these aren't things confirmed and you're right but i definitely think that the sims team really did uh, like put in these like very very much so intricate storylines and things like that because they kind of wanted the fans to solve the mystery so that's like the theory that I guess I go upon because it's very much like instilled upon in like I guess like the game and their whole like little blurbs if you read them and things like that um and yeah if you want to see them be created like I said I will link them up in the corner um but yeah i just kind of like wanted to talk to you guys i guess a little bit about i guess an update about the progress of my throwback save file like how it's coming along and things like that and i could happily say that i only have one more big household to do so after this video i have the grunts household to do and that's like the last i think like bigger family home i have to do and then after that um i will have two smaller homes to do one of them will be a um a starter home for you guys to like just start and go ahead and live upon and strange down <laughs> and the other one will be for the singles ladies um that i did at like the very beginning when i first announced that i wanted to go further with this save file and i wanted it to be more than just the pleasant view save file that i wanted to be like a full-on throwback save file and i um and yeah yeah and just like i decided that they need a house too because like i have said and stated before that i still like to add the simbin townies um and for the, those of you guys who haven't played the sims 2 the simbin townies are basically just like townies that are kind of the equivalency of our um like managed households kind of thing but they still were households that were legit townies that popped up time and time again like they were always there they weren't just like random townies they were like sims that you could play with and very much still like part of the game like how the goths were or the beakers for example or the specters or whatever you know but they were just like not assigned a home and i like to go ahead and give them a home and make them a little bit more legit in my version and yeah it's it's a good time guys it's a good time <laughs> Um, one thing too that I found really interesting about this home is that online I could not find, for the life of me, uh, plans of the original floor plan um, for the Beaker's home. So, because of that, I had to do a lot of it by memory. Um, so, I apologize if the inside of their home isn't a correct version of the floor plan, but I do definitely think that I did capture the essence of it like it does have the stone walls here i make them more feature walls like i didn't put stone walls in completely in this house like that's one thing i very much like to do in um pleasant view that i said that i like to be heavily inspired off of the houses but i like to still kind of give them an updated version an updated version that i could see the sims team making nowadays if they were to do it um or just like a version i guess that just i guess kind of more encapsulates i guess what we do on the channel what we like to do <laughs> um and yeah it just kind of gives like i guess a little bit more creative visionary for me or something i don't even know what i'm trying to say i'm trying to sound smart and i'm just being stupid <laughs> But yeah, anyway, um, I still think that you guys could definitely tell what I was trying to build. The only thing that I was kind of unhappy with about this build is 
Nervous's basement. So Nervous in the original version has a basement that when you're on the first floor, you can look down upon and you can see him in the basement. Now, I'm not sure if it's just because of the mechanics of like how the Sims, um, not Sims, about of how like the rooms work in The Sims 4, but like I tried so hard to delete the floor so you could see inside the basement, but I just couldn't do it, guys. Like, I didn't know if it's because of the whole like terrain update or if it's the way that rooms work or if it's the fact that I had the house on a foundation, but. I am, I, I, still, I still think that you guys could definitely tell, like, that, oh yeah, that's definitely where Nervous would be and things like that. I did very much make it a part of, like, the first floor plan that was kind of, like, the center of it. And I added a lot of machines, and I was able to add a lot of machines, actually, from Get the Work. Um, and I put the Inventim inventive constructor or whatever that like big main one that you use all the time in the scientist's career. Um for it so like it, it ended up being okay and ended up pretty being being pretty good like I, I feel like you guys will be pleased with the way that I like worked around that issue and I did it and I'm happy with the way it turned out something interesting I did with this house too is that I decided to make the living room on the second floor um, just because of all the machinery and things like that that was kind of like going on the first floor because I didn't really really want to stay true to that in this house like I remember it when I was a little kid that they had all of this machinery like on the first level and it was just really it was really weird and really interesting but I, it was a it was a house that definitely is kind of like one that you didn't forget because it was just so odd you know it's so interesting and I think it's fun too that I get to like rediscover it now now as an adult and things like that and get to like remake this for you guys because it makes me really happy you guys send me comments that you guys enjoy my save file or you enjoy my like little renditions of like what happened and just enjoy my channel in general it makes me really happy when I hear from you guys and I just want to thank you guys all just for whether you've been subscribed from my day one or you've been subscribed for like a day you know i love you guys all and it really means the world to me <laughs> but yeah i guess let's talk about ooh, what should we talk about there's so much to talk about guys so ea play as you guys may or may not know is coming up very shortly and there has been some speculation about an upcoming pack or an upcoming pack that we may we may see and i was like you know what i kind of want to talk about it because like of course I don't know anything yet um like I know I'm an EA game changer but they don't tell us anything either so don't think I'm holding out on you guys because I am not I I don't know either so this is speculation for me too but um there have just been like some people have just been thinking that hey maybe we might be getting a tropical paradise pack soon and honestly guys if we were to get a tropical paradise pack I would be so freaking happy tropical paradise was my favorite sims 3 pack and like i'm legit saying like 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 ride or die pack for sims 3 was was island paradise like i spent so much time in like isla Paradiso or whatever the world was um and i just i remember having so much fun with it i love the houseboats i love the beach i love the lifeguard career and the mermaids and the diving spots there was so much cool like, there was so much cool things about that pack, and I just was, like, in love with the world, how beautiful it was. And, honestly, I feel like if the Sims team were to make a tropical world, I feel like it would be absolutely gorgeous. It's because the the um, graphics in The Sims 4 is, like, one of my favorite parts of this game, actually. Like, I really, really love the scenery and just all the beauty of it and how, and how well they do it. So, I can only even imagine, like, what a tropical paradise pack would be like now like it would be so gorgeous and i don't know honestly if we would get houseboats just because we don't have an open world but something that i would really really love to for it to come back for it to kind of be like a happy medium instead of having a houseboats is for us to have like maybe like pier homes like you can build upon a deck like i think that would be kind of cool because that way it would still give the whole houseboat kind of feel if they weren't able to do houseboats but it would still be still like you're like right on the water kind of thing you could like build like right on the water because that really really excites me <laughs> um i'm also too just like love all like the tropical like um like you know 
clothing and things like that they all they have like the cutest beach clothing and i don't know guys i'm excited i'm i'm rooting for it i really really hope we get a tropical paradise pack i mean if it isn't and we get something else too i mean i'll be excited nonetheless because like you know me and i'm i love the sims i'm a Kind of a nerd <laughs> when it comes to things i guess like that but um yeah i'm just really excited about it um i know other people have been speculating that maybe it might be um university which i don't know i feel like i feel like in my heart i feel like it'd be tropical paradise more than university right now just because i feel like it's the summertime and i feel like the summer is like a perfect time to release a tropical paradise pack but that's just my opinion. Um, I love University. University was one of my favorite packs for The Sims 2. I had so much stupid fun playing that. And in The Sims 3 too. Like, I'd say for Sims 3, that's probably my second favorite pack. Because <laughs> University is just, like, one of those ones that was, like, I could play for hours on end. Like, I feel like it was, like, almost like an achievement, you know? It's like, you're, like, how many stupid things could you have your Sim do and still get, like, an amazing grade and graduate? <laughs> not something i practice in real life don't recommend that don't do that <laughs> since i am a university student i keep I, I i take my schooling very seriously but in the sims it's, it's like stupid fun you know um and now as someone i guess who actually is in university that would be that's really interesting for me to see because i could definitely give you guys a very realistic um take and like review on it since like i go to a public university that's fairly fairly bigger school um so like it's kind of fun now to like now i guess as an older person get to actually review a pack and actually have the life experience to go along with it <laughs> which is kind of fun and interesting but yeah i hope that one i hope that one comes like a little bit later in the future like i feel like that one would be a good one to release like i don't know during school time and that one just makes more sense for me um but either way i guess i'll be super excited no matter what they do we're also apparently supposed to be getting 350 new swatches for the base game um in an update like fairly soon or something like that and i think this is to uh, do with also um the fact that they are giving away or they gave away the base game for free for like a week um i believe they're doing it until like the 28th so if you so if this video doesn't go up before or after the 28th i'm not really sure um actually I, I have to be really guys i don't even know what the date is right now oh it's the first <laughs> yeah it's over but uh, if you guys were one of those lucky people i guess to uh, i guess get the base game um for free um i you will be expecting a new update soon as well as well as all of us too that just like have it already um the game then we'll we'll get a new nice surprise that'll be that'll be really sweet <laughs> but fyi guys i did tell you guys about it in my last video where i ranted about game of thrones um with my friend crystal if you guys haven't seen that i'll link that in the corner even if you guys don't watch game of thrones i think you guys will still enjoy the creative sim and edit because i spent a lot of a long time on that and i and i'm actually just really proud how it came out because i was like oh my god this is beautiful hbo please hire me no, i'm just kidding please don't <laughs> that was, they, they did a terrible job on season and season eight but the actors did good and the production team it's only the writers who did terrible and i and i and i agree on that but that's over now so we're not talking about that anymore um but yeah i i liked it but i just didn't like the writing um fyi but yeah going back to the sims um or i guess like things that what have i've been up to so what have i been actually up to hmm not much really to be honest <laughs> and uh, i swear to god when my life my life changes so much from when i go to school and i have like so much to do and i feel like i just have like a million one things to say when i'm at school but then when i'm home i'm like my life is pretty quiet for me like i i, I am pretty chill person when i'm at home compared to like when i'm at school just because like i don't know like i just feel like life is just more chill in the burbs guys <laughs> everything everything is nice at home everything is nice everything is chill and i guess it's just because of that like all of course like a lot of my friends are at school and i see them and things like that and i still see friends of course when i'm home too as you guys see like crystal was just over but like things are i guess that things are just different when i'm at school and things like that than when i'm at home there's just more action i guess to talk about because when i'm at home like literally the entertainment that i have is getting from the internet 
<laughs> um, otherwise, I'm probably I'm just like doing doing um, chores and just keeping up with the house and I don't know, just organizing stuff that happened from school and things like that that I have to do, like organize my closet. Oh God, I, that is not fun to do. <laughs> as uh, as well as to is I'll start a um, online course to like on the seventeenth of like this month, so. Not looking forward to that, but I guess I am looking forward to it because it gives me something to do other than just like go crazy and go nuts because I'm used to doing shit all the time. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just it, it's, it's kind of annoying. It's just kind of annoying because you just go for so much work to like just basically being a housewife because my mother has been working a lot and I usually like to just pick up the slack for her when I'm home and things like that and kind of feel into her shoes <laughs> until like work gets less crazy for her like next month so yeah that's just <laughs> that's the plan stan um and yeah i what plans do I, ha I have plans for the summer too but i don't actually want to share them with you guys yet just yet um yeah i just i just don't want to share them just in case i jinx myself and they don't happen but yeah i might be doing something fun with um F with crystal or later this summer i'll let you guys know if it happens because i guess it'll be fun to do and vlog about i guess if it happens but yeah I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it happens. We'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping because it'll be fun. But yeah, I don't know. Some of you guys are being like, what is she going on about now? Like she goes on about these rants about things and no idea what she's talking about. But Bill looks nice. <laughs> but yeah, um, let me guys know too if you guys are enjoying rebuilding Strange Town and rebuilding, I guess, like the whole save file. Because like, this is so much fun for you guys. I also um, want to ask you guys too if... You guys would actually care to see um, me creating the Curious Brothers, and if you guys actually still want me to still want me to include the star the starter home um, or not, because I still have th those two things are to me are like the most boringest things, I guess, um, for the whole pack. I mean, not the whole pack. What are we talking about? For the whole, for like the whole, like I guess series. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys care to see like the Curious Brothers, just because like they're an interesting family. They're definitely an interesting family because, like, one of them is obviously a pregnant man with an alien baby, but, like, they're nothing... It's not, like, fun to create them, I guess, for a video because they're, like... It's not couture, you know? Like, it's not... They're not fashionable. They're not fun to create, like female sins are with like custom content and you get to do the whole nine yards so let me know because some of you guys like still like to see them because they're classic sims and you guys like to hear me talk about the backstory but let me know if you want to see that if you guys still want to see another sh um, starter house because i'm i'm willing to do so if you guys are willing to listen and watch um but yeah let me know those two things down below um, and also to let me know, um, if you like this build too, what you thought of it. If you thought my rendition, um, is good, if you guys could still tell who this house is supposed to belong to and things like that. Because this one is definitely, I, I would definitely say the most Rosebud inspired, I guess, than any of the other ones I've done based off of Sims 2 houses. Um, and we're getting close to the end, so make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe.